On bail, Stuart Kuttner arrived home after eight hours in custody. He'd been arrested on suspicion of phone hacking and paying police for information. Earlier, while he was being questioned, police searched his home and took away a number of things, including a computer. For many years, Mr Kuttner was the public face of the news of the world. He was often called on to defend the paper. No article, no photograph goes in the newspaper these days, uh, which may in any way be, you know, where there may be a, an argument about it being contentious or an invasion of privacy or anything of the kind, without the most thorough internal debate. As the paper's managing editor, Mr Kuttner controlled the editorial purse strings. Last month, this is how the paper's owner described a managing editor's role. They have to approve the expensive claims of every reporter. The reporter has no authority uh, to pay money on his own. Nine News of the World journalists have now been arrested. Rebecca Brooks was an editor and later the group's chief executive. Andy Coulson was the editor. As managing editor, Stuart Kuttner reported to him. Neil Wallace was deputy editor. Assistant editor Ian Edmondson was the first arrested. James Weatherup was news editor. Royal reporter Clive Goodman was jailed for phone hacking in the first investigation and re-arrested last month. Chief reporter Neville Thurlbeck and freelance Terenya Tarras were also held and questioned. Detectives see Stuart Kuttner as a key figure in their investigation. What happens next may depend very much on what emerges during his questioning, but of course he's not obliged to tell them anything. Mr Kuttner was one of the best-known figures in Fleet Street. After 29 years at the News of the World, he resigned two years ago, days before fresh allegations arose over the extent of the paper's phone hacking.